Yes, I have to say, I love boobs. I mean, who doesn't? Boobs are great. But you know what I like just as much as boobs? Great action games. The feeling of slicing and dicing through enemies and comboing your way to ridiculous lengths is just so fun, especially when it can present a bit of a challenge. Senran Kagura is just that, a series focused on boobs and action. The games have been silly and funny and great. Senran Kagura Estival Versus for PS4 is the latest installment in the series and is absolutely no exception to that rule, or the Senran Kagura formula. This time, however, the game includes a multiplayer game mode along with its already expansive single player campaign, a campaign that itself is divided into the main story and tons of side campaigns that focus their eyes on the story of any particular gal involved. The main campaign boasts 57 different missions while each of the 27 Shinobi Girl Hearts campaigns can include up to 5 different missions. Just like the previous games in the series, Senran Kagura Estival vs offers a hell of a lot of content for any player to enjoy. For those unfamiliar, the missions generally play out as such. Using any particular one of the playable girls, of which there are 28, you fight hordes of enemies within a confined area and progress until you reach the final boss, which is usually another or multiple other girls. Combat is simple combo based hack and slash. Each playable character has unique light attack as well as heavy attacks, and using dashes the player is expected to string the moves together in their frantic boob swinging attempt at staying alive. As your character takes damage, her clothes begin to rip away, which is where the lewd aspect of Senran Kagura truly shines. Adding further depth and altering your character's clothing is the two power-up modes that you can employ throughout the fights. Frantic Mode and Shinobi Transform Frantic Mode, as its title suggests, buffs the player's attacks significantly and allows for most characters' moves to chain together indefinitely. Though. It removes all clothing from your character's safe or undergarment and employs a drastic debuff to the character's defensive capabilities. Shinobi Transform, the Yang to Frantic's Yin, heals the character to full upon activation and changes the character's clothes. Both modes allow the character to use Shinobi Arts in exchange for scrolls that they charge up or find throughout the mission. Shinobi Arts are unique to each character and each character has three. As you can probably tell, the combat in Senran Kagura Estival Versus is amazingly nuanced and detailed. The uniqueness of every character adds to the value of Senran Kagura tremendously and allows for no moment to ever feel stale in the constant flux and flow of battle. After you finish slicing your way through all of the main and side missions, there is multiplayer to enjoy in Senran Kagura. While multiplayer has never been a staple in the Senran Kagura series, its presence in Estival Versus allows for fun and menial busy work as opposed to players having otherwise set the game aside. Estival Versus' multiplayer is not expansive and not very innovative by any stretch of the imagination, but it does allow an opportunity for players to add value to the already tremendously enjoyable experience that Estival Versus presents through its single player. As multiplayer should be in games of this nature, Estival Versus treats its mode as an add-on and nothing more. The story that Estival Versus uses to link together its fight isn't very extravagant either. It immediately makes reference to the first game in the series, but quickly follows its own self-contained tale, just as the same as the multiplayer player, there isn't much to speak of. The quality of its visual novel-esque story is just as you would expect from the series and not too intrusive as to stave you away from the enjoyable combat. While the combat is mostly the same as what was seen in previous iterations of the series, Estival Versus adds wall running as well as bombs that add another dimension to combat. The bombs come in different varieties and can be dropped just as the same as scrolls. Whether it be poison, electric, freezing, or any other, bombs allow for good AoE damage in cases where you feel overrun by a ridiculous amount of enemies. Additionally, none of the bombs felt too overpowered, and aside from differences in preference for ranged versus melee fighters, the girls are all fairly balanced, with none sticking out as the definitive queen. Furthermore, the game isn't by any means easy and provides a decent challenge to players, but it doesn't make its system so obtuse that only madmen would continue. Estival Versus houses another improvement over its predecessors in its visual fidelity. While the game doesn't jump leaps and bounds ahead of its predecessor, it does look slightly crisper, brighter, and overall, better. However, the real standouts in Estival Versus are the anime cutscenes that are sparingly placed throughout the game. In those instances, the game looks truly beautiful and the story becomes infinitely more compelling. Unfortunately though, the cutscenes are, as I mentioned, sparing. I would have loved to see more, but for some reason, probably budgetary, the game chose to stick with its 3D models for the majority of the storytelling. 
Overall, Senran Kagura Estival vs certainly poses some improvements and added depth in comparison with its predecessor, Shinobi vs, but under no circumstance is it a game changer. Senran Kagura will and always will be a game for people with the lewd is good mentality, myself included, despite its solid combat. Estival vs will by no means change anyone's mind, and I don't think that was ever its goal. Instead, its focus is to provide enjoyment through its fan service, which it does fantastically well. If you enjoy the Senran Kagura series, Estival vs is worth the pickup, especially considering the streamlined and additional content. But if you haven't liked the series before, Estival vs will do nothing to change your mind. My name is Iman Tawar, you can find me on Twitter at Senor Browncat, that's S-E-N-O-R-B-R-O-W-N-C-A-T. You can find all the PlayStation news you're looking for over at PlayStationEnthusiast.com, or even check out our new site, Enthusiast.gg. Thanks for listening, see you next time. It's awesome.